This is VOA News. Reporting via remote, I'm David Byrd. President Donald Trump says the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending all Americans use some sort of mask or face covering when they go in public to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Speaking at his daily briefing Friday, the president said the new recommendations are voluntary. You have a lot of ways you can look at it as follows. The CDC is recommending that Americans wear a basic cloth or fabric mask that can be either purchased online or simply made at home, probably material that you'd have at home. The president said he did not think that he would be wearing a mask in public, but urged Americans to voluntarily comply with the guidelines. He repeated that people should not wear special masks that are reserved for medical and emergency personnel. President Trump said the new guidelines do not supersede other guidelines, such as social distancing and hand washing, to prevent the spread of the virus. The coronavirus pandemic has ended America's record-long run of job growth. AP Washington correspondent Sagar Megani reports. The government reports employers cut 701,000 jobs last month, and that vastly understates just how bad the losses may have been because employers were surveyed before the heaviest virus-related layoffs the past two weeks. Nearly 10 million Americans have applied for jobless benefits since then. With roughly 90% of the population under some type of shutdown order, some economists forecast another 10 million jobs will be lost by month's end. They predict unemployment will hit 15%, the worst since the Great Depression. Sagar Magani, Washington. For more on these stories and the rest of the day's news, visit our website, voanews.com. You can also follow us on the VOA mobile app. This is VOA News. Pakistani authorities ordered four men Friday, including a British militant convicted of the 2002 murder of U.S. journalist Daniel Pearl, to be detained for three months despite a lower court's ruling to overturn their convictions. Soria Ali of Reuters reports. Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl was investigating Islamist militants in Karachi after the 9-11 attacks when he was kidnapped in January 2002 and later beheaded. On Thursday, the High Court in Sindh acquitted the four accused, including British militant Ahmed Omar Saeed Sheikh, who was originally sentenced to death for masterminding Pearl's murder. But today, the Sindh government issued the order to arrest and detain the four before they were released from prison to be detained for three months. The re-arrest of the men gives the Pakistani government time to put together a legal appeal against their acquittal. With personal protective equipment in short supply for many health care workers, one hospital has set up its own shop. AP's Shelley Adler has details. Staff at Northwest Hospital in Randallstown is making sure their facilities are safe by producing face masks in a sanitary workshop across the street from the emergency room. Dr. Daniel Duran is a physician and chief innovation officer for LifeBridge Health. A month ago, we didn't know that we would have to have a mask on everybody in our facility, but the more we learn about the virus and the more careful we want to be, That's what we're trying to be able to do. Duran said their operation and others like it across the country could always use more willing volunteers, adding he's encouraged by the outpouring of support he's seen. Whether it's um, donating shoes or PPE or meals, uh, I mean, it's booing people's hopes right now. I'm Shelley Adler. Bill Withers has died. AP Entertainment correspondent Oscar Wells Gabriel reports that he's being remembered as one of the top recording artists of his generation. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Musician Questlove says Bill Withers was the closest thing that black folks had to someone like a Bruce Springsteen. And in his life in music, Withers did exemplify that working class ethos, even posing for the cover of his first album while on a break at work, still holding his lunch pail. His biggest hit, Lean On Me, was performed at the inaugurations of both Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. It and Ain't No Sunshine are among those on Rolling Stone's list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. Bill Withers was 81. I'm Oscar Wells Gabriel. On Wall Street, stocks ended the week on a negative note with all three major indices down. The Dow was down by 1.69%. While the S&P dropped 1.51%, the NASDAQ was off by 1.53%. For more on these stories and the rest of the day's news, visit our website, Reporting by Remote. I'm David.